Genshin Impact, a game we all adore, a beautiful open world to explore with an unforgettable lore, awesome characters with great stories and various more. Every game has its dark side that can be very painful and annoyingly annoying. Yeah, I just said that. Huh? Well, anyway, in this case, May I present? five things that make Genshin Impact hardly painful to play sometimes. And just to be said, I do not mean to harm the game in any way. I still love it and play it a lot and enjoy playing it all the time. Even though it can push your frustration level sometimes to the limit, I think we still can all agree that it's a great game, okay? So we're starting off with some quests, but no, 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 not the regular ones. I'm talking about the devious ones. The one that take your soul and brings your sweat and tears. I'm waving off. So what I mean is the quests that have like zero to none information where you were supposed to go. You don't get a waypoint to the location for whatever reason and sometimes the only thing you know is maybe a letter but for the rest whoever is like check out through Holtevad to find a place. Maybe it is in Natlan or Snezhnaya, we don't know. Find out yourself. Good luck bro. We will not support you in your way. <laughs> so on the other hand in addition they throw you the next fist in your stomach with these quests that are hard to figure out what you need to do. Or maybe I'm just not capable enough to do it, I don't know. <laughs> for example, I'm stuck on this quest like for decades now and still couldn't figure out what to do. But I'm too lazy to google it as well. But still myself I tried and I couldn't get what the game want me to do. Even Ganyu couldn't help me and if the goat cannot help you, nobody can. On the next one I have... Chichi! Okay, no, sorry, that was rude. Poor Chi Chi. Now for the next one, I have artifacts. But not the artifacts itself, they look pretty cool, so that's not it. I mean the grinding, digging, hunting or whatever you want to call it. For the good artifacts. I mean, who doesn't like it to spend an hour in grinding for artifacts, wiping out the same enemy a hundred times, consuming all your resin for what? To maybe get an artifact in the end that was the stats you need, but then this happens. Ah, so much fun, I love it. So all in all, we know it's essential in the game, but it can be difficult as well, for sure. Going over to something that might not affect some very strong players, but still well deserved in this list in my opinion. The Abyss. Mhm, mm I love it. But no, only sarcasm. I am at the stage where I can manage to get to floor 9 and 10 without any issues. My Hyper Bloom team just wrecks everything in a couple of seconds anyway. So on floor 11 it starts to crumble with the most hated challenge in the abyss. Floor 11, chamber 1. Protect the monument in the middle and I can say proudly I still haven't destroyed one of my controllers by now. I am glad that I'm at the point where I can manage to make it barely with 3 stars. Otherwise Amazon would make a lot of money with me. And not to forget the enemy after all, that are on steroids and knock you out when you just blink for a second and don't pay attention. Ah, it's horrible. You nearly cannot make it to the end with only three characters. And all the time it's always the healer that gets torn into oblivion. It's really annoying sometimes to do it. And you have to because you get primos for it. Even it's not that much but anyway, it's necessary. I'm sorry if I might not make myself popular to some of you. But I gotta say, one painful thing as well in this game is Sumeru. Oh man, what a region. Don't get me wrong, it looks nice. It got a lot of mountains, huge mushrooms and a lot of caves. But for me, that's also a bit of the problem right here. For exploration matters, it's so stressful. Maybe since the Wanderer came out and now with Cloud Retainer. There is just something oddly unsatisfying as well as all the underground regions you can't even find. So I'm not even able to finish some quests because I can't find the entrance sometimes. But I like the characters and the Arabic region flair it has. The desert is not as bad as Sumeru itself, but I am sure a lot of you might don't like Sumeru as well for whatever reasons. Now there's only one thing I haven't said and that's the character pulling system. And I know gacha games are built up like that, but still it's very frustrating sometimes to get what you want. Not only the fact that you have to get a 50-50 chance in getting the characters you want to wish for, in the most cases you have to pull at least to 70 until you get one for sure. 
which is quite a lot if you consider that your primal gem rewards are not so much as you might wish for. <laughs> I made a wish joke, I'm so proud of myself. But that's just one thing if you are willing to wish for your characters. Now in order to get weapons, happy birthday, you better not even try it, to get some of that specialized weaponry of some characters. You have to even lose to your 25% chance to get the weapons you like, to even try to get your willing product. Now I don't know who came up with that idea, but that's just Hu Tao crazy level. Therefore I already stopped a long time ago to wish for the weapons. Since the last time I got the Skyward Blade Butter Knife. Well that was interesting, I guess. I hope I was not too rough to the game, I don't wanna get sued please Hoyoverse. It was just for entertainment. But alright, I hope you enjoyed it anyway in some way and if you did, make sure you are subscribed Otherwise, you won't profit from the advantages you have if you are not. And put that thumbs up for Rex Lapis. Everything done? Good. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later, hopefully in the next video. Raptor out.